All right, it is like the Wild West. This VHS thing, it, it's the Wild West. Have your six shooter ready because it's been to be a shootout at the VHS Corral. <laughs> Woo! Let's get busy. Bam! <laughs> Welcome, welcome, guys. What's up? I'm glad to see everyone back. We took a break last week since we had a holiday. I um, think everybody was like half dead or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what was going on. Yeah, yeah, Mikey was MIA. I was pretty sure he died. <laughs> I was pretty sure I died. I was not doing so hot. <laughs> But much, still, better now, much better now. Much better now. I'm still right up on. in the air about Danny. I haven't heard from him either. Yeah, D Danny got COVID, so there's, there's oh. all that. And yeah, I know, I know. But he's doing much better now. Much better now. That's good. That's good. Okay. Well, let me jump right into this. Um, well, first, I guess before we do this, I have like a shit ton of stuff I pulled for us to do a market report on since we weren't here last week. Um, but does anybody have anything they picked up recently they want to show off? I got it. Listen, I actually I do have stuff because I need I need uh, opinions. Okay. Ooh, All okay. right. So we let's start with I wanted a media home video release. And since I couldn't find any horror, I'm like, let's go with the next best thing and go with uh eighty cheesy eighties action. So we've got heated vengeance. Uh, from 19, I believe 1980, I think 1984 or 1985, I forget, but this release is uh 1987 and it's cool. got the beautiful uh red, red watermarks. Water. Yeah. And look at this guy, this guy has been in everything throughout the like 70s, 80s, and maybe even the 90s, who knows? But uh, we found a beautiful sealed copy of Heated Vengeance. Is that the Karate Kid guy? Um, this, yeah, uh, this guy. Oh, <laughs> I think his name is Michael J. Pollard. He was in um, he was in Bonnie and Clyde. Mm. So yeah, and he's been in a ton of shit. But yeah, we got this sealed. Uh, this movie here, this one. Okay, now does this count as a horror title or no? Dead Ring. I've never seen it. I Dead Ring. Seen it. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> it's the story of two of uh, twin gynecologists awesome. that like okay. that, share, that share their experiences. Jeremy Irons, one of the best actors of all time. That's his face, yeah. Yeah, and um, uh, this movie is uh, trippy. It's trippy. It's trippy, and it's freaky. And and look, look, look at those water. Two watermarks on what Dead Ringers. Premise. It listen, yeah. I, I don't even think this movie could be I, like a movie like this couldn't even be made today. But uh, yeah, I love we, got, it. we got on the list this stuff here. Whatever's going on there, it's just it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And look, 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 look. Okay, uh, if we take a look at the back, the second print is a video treasures. You don't want that. You Ooh. never want video treasures. I've been it's in. The Listen, I've been in the game for two minutes. Okay. And you know, you already and know. I know, and I already know Video it's Treasures ain't shit. <laughs> so um, it should, the date on this should be 1989. So this is the 1989 release. Dead Ringers. I love it. Wow. Look at. I love you, Dead Ringers. And, and two watermarks. Come on. Those are some wow. crispy watermarks. Ooh, ooh, ooh I'm chill. Um, okay. Did anybody know that, like, with uh, Crimson, no, not Hunt for Red October, it had like a different colored uh, tape. Freaking indecent mm, proposal. Red, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that's green, right? Yeah, money green yeah. tape. Hmm. So, uh, if for those that don't know, the premise of indecent proposal, a rich dude uh, tries to mac. <laughs> on another dude's wife offers her a million bucks to sleep with, to sleep with her and uh chaos ensues or hijinks and it looks like she does it <laughs> well you know but the yeah. cover goes away yeah look at that 
I have I never know. seen a green tape. I didn't know. That color. I've seen a lot of like the neon green ones, but I've never seen yeah. like, that kind of green. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. And yeah, there's there's hardly any others on eBay. Um, we have Stepfather. Oh, dope. Ooh. Is that an embassy? Yes. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Uh, you can barely make out the watermarks. Oh, is it a beta? Yeah, yeah Betamax. Mm, still dope. Beta, Betamax. That, that, that's a really tough one. Yeah, man. Yeah, because yeah, I that, noticed. I see watermarks in general. That's a really hardcore horror movie and really, really sought after. That that, that thing's sick. Yeah, man. Congratulations. So, that was thank sick. You. Thank you. That was really cool. I don't even have one. That's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Don't make me, hey, don't make me well up. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, so a little bit, a little bit of a, a little bit of side water markage right there. And uh, yeah. All right. Cool. It's dope. Uh, what else? Another Betamax. I'm a huge Fred Williamson fan. Uh, so we have a Fox Trap, two tone tape. Oh, dope. And uh, is, that, it's a, is that the Vestron sticker? Yes, Vestron. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's a Betamax. And that's what you want. You want it before the watermarks, too. So if it has the Vestron sticker, then it's, like, even cooler. Really? It's got the Vestron sticker. So that means it's even earlier. Like, I think it's uh, 84. They came out with the watermarks. 83 and earlier is the sticker. Something something like that. Don't totally quote me, but stickers earlier. So okay, even sweet. Yeah. All right. Yeah, now, you're doing look, good. Look at this bullshit that I bought. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. So we got... Dude, so I love it. Mikey, see, steel, Mikey sees them like every four months. <laughs> okay, um, cool as ice. Uh, look at that, uh, Beta Max. What year? I, um, I believe this is nineteen ninety one. That's got that's one of the last Beta Maxes. I mean, the, the Beta Max was going on for roughly five more years after that, but almost not at all. Okay, um, cool. So that's that they're really it's scarce to get beta max is that late so that's really cool so we have uh, uh watermarks mca yeah. universal watermarks look yeah that's that's hardcore first print look at this look at this you know, random tape that's fun yo pablo look at this bullshit. <laughs> you guys do hey <laughs> what's up man hey we're just, we're just going over tapes um <laughs> Uh, found this for I think seventy five bucks. So big. That's big. Hey. Nice white watermarks, blue. Yes, yes, white, white, white. Nice. Um, yeah. you know what? The stickers kind of covered them Covering up, it, but, yeah. but you can make them out. They're there. They're there. They're white. Good price. Good shit. Mercenary is a killer, man. Listen, man, I'm I'm all in. I'm taking what I know about comics, the passion for comics, so I'm, I'm applying it to something else. Okay. Uh, we have flatliners. Now, trying to find the right one was a bitch. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so they switched over to Columbia TriStar in the 90s, so you have to find the one with the RCA... Uh, Columbia logo, RCA Columbia sticker, and and uh, beside other than the uh, the TriStar logo, and you got to find the one with the uh, RCA Columbia watermarks on the side. So this this one was a bitch. That's a good move. That's a good yeah. move. Yeah. So we got this for just yeah, a couple cool. of bucks. Nico's gonna be mad about that one. That was that's one of the first ones he wanted to look for when we started collecting them. Really, flatliners. Yeah, yeah. I don't know sure. why. Okay. And uh, last but not least, we have a, a copy of the ratings game from 1984. Cool. Um, it's got the. This is a is beta. Beta max. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Watermarks on the back. Okay, so the premise of this is that. Uh, it was like some degenerate guy who ran a network and he happened to send all the families that owned ratings boxes on vacation and he turned their and he turned their boxes onto his network. So he kind of had like free reign to like do whatever he wanted and he would get high ratings. It was kind of like kind of like maybe v UHF or something like that. You know what I mean? I remember seeing this movie. It was a long time ago. Uh, I saw this, and I'm like, ah, why not pick it up? So, from 1984, Betamax.
It's a fun cover for sure. That's nice. We got more, but uh, we'll save those for another. Anybody else got some fun stuff? I changed it up a little bit these last two weeks. I got. Okay. Oh, let's go. Ah, there we go. There we go. Is that the OG it, get, it gets better. It gets better. <laughs> what was that, Mikey? You asked the question? Is that the OG first print one? I guess. I mean, they don't come with watermarks. So, uh, true, true, true. But it's got the, the, the early MCA. Yeah. I mean, I don't know mm-hmm. if it says 1986 or 85 on it, but if it does, then that's really 85. Cool. 85, 85, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that should be a big one. I mean, Dune, I think, is a really overlooked tape right now because it's going to be huge. It's going to be the next Star Wars. So, like, you know. <laughs> Speaking of oh, Star yeah. Hey! <laughs> Man. There that, you go. That, I think it's the 83. I think that's the 83 laser. 80, that's, 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 that's the let me see. 85. I'm completely new 85. to laser discs and cannot determine anything by looking at them. I know right. nothing about them yet. Right. So yeah. I, I, I bought a Space Jam laser disc today. I have a couple of them that I picked up, just ones that I liked. Uh, like, I have a Mars Attacks one because I, I just really love oh, Mars cool. Attacks. I love the yeah. art on it. I just love all of it. But I got a few. Are, I got like those 10. Are real, real laser discs. Those, are, those are definitely hardcore. Oh, sweet. Yeah. What years on that one? Are those from the 80s? 85 80s? as well. Yeah, 85. Mm. That looks that look mint. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. Yeah. It's in great condition. Yeah, I think and then this one's 92, right now. I think. 92? Well, yeah, I still got to get the 85 for this one. Uh, 92, 86, yeah. 86, 92. For that one. 86 yeah. was the first release on that one. But the movie came in 83. 86. So yeah. shouldn't it be 84? No, 86 is when it was commercial release. So I think the, the laser disc came out a little later. I think. I'm not sure. It's laser disc, so the, the I, first, I'm not too... The uh, first video release for Return of the Jedi was 1986. And then let's see. We got these gold Disney VHSs. What? Well, yep. All right. Here, so that's here. interesting. This is eighty-five. So in eighty-four, they came up with a limited gold edition, and then eighty. That was eighty-four. Eighty-five, they came out with the second series. So hmm. I've I never even seen one. that before. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Damn, okay. I, I got four of them. Dude, those are sweet. Yeah, oh, they're nice. They're Perfect. Neat. For sure. Thick. Usually I scoff at Disney, but those are, those those are, are shiny. Cool. I like the shiny. They're, cool. <laughs> they're old, too. They're really old. And are those just like uh, typical, like, you know, Sunday cartoons? Yeah, it's a series of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those got to be rare as fuck. Those are super, super cool. Yeah, it's cool. I've seen them. This is the second time I've seen them sealed. Mm-hmm. I've never seen those before, so... Yeah, neither, like all the surfing that I do, like never see that. Mm-hmm. And then this is my big guy for the last two weeks. Boom! Ooh, <laughs> there you go. Let's go. You can't beat that. <laughs> is that VHS or beta? Beta. Yeah. Beta. Yeah. Is I'm it, not um, doing more. Does it have the um? Is it raised? Is it raised? Yeah, it is. It's raised. True. Yeah. True. First print. Let's yep. go. Yep. Congratulations. That's huge. Thank you, bro. Yeah. It's in great condition too. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it Look at that. Flawless. It looks flawless. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Yeah. Eighty-five plus. Hopefully, shit. Maybe better. Maybe better. <laughs> Let me show you guys. I, I have just a few. Okay. Ooh, Tom sweet. Barbed wire. Oof. Yeah. Oof. I, I love like Tom that. Tom. Yeah. That's- What is that? What is it? <laughs> How much? Nazi exploitation. She devils of the SS. The devils of what? She devils of the SS. Of what year? Uh, 1989. He's got yeah. everything. That's 89. Yes, sir. This is what sealed. Is this? No watermark, so I don't know if this is going to be good or not. But is this, a, is this a porn? Is that what this is? Could be. I hope it so. looks like it is. Like it These are gigantic be. bosoms <laughs> on the front. I'm seeing, I'm seeing oh, no. boobs. Yeah. yeah. Then I have my man Tom Cruise, Mission Seven Impossible Apple. Three. Promo. Promo. Yeah, this is was not officially released, so they were promoting the movie. That's Damn. dope. I think this one is is definitely. That's cool. 
Because it was never supposed to be on on VHS, right? The last Mission Impossible on VHS. You you know, part one and part two, those should be um, affordable and cheap. But part three, if you can get your hands on one of these, I think this is a good investment. I thought part three only came out as a promo. I I, I didn't think it ever came out. Yeah, it's just a promo. It it never had a commercial release, so that's that's a really big deal. Yeah. And then one of my favorite movies of all time, (laughs) The Matrix. Yeah, and this one you want to try. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, you need to get that barcode on the back, the H one two hundred W. Really? So that's the first print, mm. and no recycling symbol on the bottom. No recycle symbol. Mm. Aha! <laughs> Big. Okay. They're, they're both rare. They're both rare, but like that one's that's the good one. This is the first one, and yeah. then the last three, I have. One, two, let's go. Three. Jeez. Oh, the <laughs> so two American releases and one Canadian. Sweet. Wow. So Ooh. when you buy these, obviously trying to find the one with the uh, proof of purchase at the bottom and the Miramax uh, sticker. Yeah. Can you hold those up again for a second, Pablo? Again? Can you hold those up for us again for a second? This is a trifecta. The trifecta. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so the Canadian, it looks really cheap right now, guys. So if you if you're gonna buy an accessible like enter, like this should be a hundred bucks, you know, hundred and fifty. I think those are good investments, but the, the U.S. these are going to be heating up when they hit the auction. So Tarantino, as you know, I think he only has one or two movies left that he wants to make. He has one, one left. Yeah. So that's what, all these, all his movies are going to be in the spotlight again. So and dude, everyone's going to want one. Like, it was like, almost Star Trek his last one. Them, it doesn't matter. The demand on that's going to be crazy. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. That's it. Pulp Fiction is my fave. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like the Hulk 181 of, of VHS, probably. Which one? Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, yeah. Everyone so I don't it. know if I showed this to you guys when I first got it, um, but I just dug it out um, and I thought it was pretty wicked. Oh, that's a good one. Monsters. Yeah. Super. Oh, wicked, yeah. That's sick. And it's got what is it somewhere here? here. If I can get it to focus, maybe. Is that 80s release? Yeah, oh, yeah, it should be. Yeah. That's eighty. Uh, what, 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 what year did it come out initially? Eighty-eight. Um, this one says eighty-six is when this was printed. Cool, cool, cool. cool. So it's technically one earlier release, but still, I mean, I've never even seen that. I've never even seen it. Yeah. I've never even seen that. So, that was like, like a two-dollar pickup. So I was like, ooh, uh, exciting. I'll give you All right. more. I'll and give this <laughs> quick double up. Man, Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre. It's a screener. That's cool. Oh, that's a screener, oh, no. yeah. Yeah, it's a little blow on the bottom. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's yeah, that's cool, cool. Huh? With Matthew McConaughey. Canadian? It says yes. like, yeah, yeah. It's it Canadian, is. yes. I don't know if there was a um, screening copies in the U.S. I've never seen one. Uh, who cares? It's old. Yeah, cool. I love, I love the... Have that in the U.S. I mean, the U.S. one's kind of worthless, but I mean, not the screener. Like, that That looks like that should be worth money. That's really I'm cool. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about it. I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so I'm pumped. That's you, Mike. Texas. Me, me. Uh, so, so before before I start showing things off, I want to make a quick announcement that this is like this is the week. If you're gonna consign to the Heritage Auctions and you don't have, have tapes graded yet, you need to get them consigned this week. The deadline's the first. And good so, tapes. Yeah, good tapes. Really, like they only want stuff that's like you know a thousand dollars and over. Um, the, the idea this time is for there to be a two-day auction, 200 tapes a day, uh, easily over a million dollars of value. It's it's going to be pumped. Um, the auction goes off um, in September, uh, and it's already killer. Um, but obviously, you know, the more material, the better. Um, and we're just going to keep pumping on it. So I'm going to show some tapes that I recently picked up that I'm going to like, you know, that I'm either just showing off or actually going to be in that auction. Um, 
Anyhow, this is one I'm not giving it up. I want this one. It's fucking awesome. This is a, uh, you know, because I'm a comic book nerd. So obviously I like Flash Gordon. Not near as much as I like Flesh Gordon. And, <laughs> so this this is a uh, me meta release of, uh, of, of Flesh Gordon, which was a uh, parody movie uh, that actually got killer reviews. It's like, I don't know, 70 something percent or 80 something percent on Rotten Tomatoes. And uh, it was a cult classic movie that's like, you know, honestly badass. And I wish I could, you know, you could see the cover art a little better, but it's sci fi and it's hysterical. And it, it, it read the synopsis. It's so fucking funny. And, anyways, if you get your hands on one, buy it. But I mean, this is the only one I've ever seen. And when I had the chance to buy it, I, I jumped on it quick. Um, now, one that I'm going to be having in the next Heritage Auctions, huge one right here for the horror fans. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Video. Dun. Video. It's my favorite. That's cool. So that's going to be really big. That's going to oh, be really my big. God. The, uh, you know, the, the seal's a little fucked up, but you know, you got, you got, it's got its little watermark here on the side and all that good stuff. And you know, Bernard, this tape's a few hundred bucks open. So even with the shitty seal, it is still a gem. And these yeah, I've never seen it. Up. Yeah. You, you, they, I've seen one other sealed and I own it. Uh, oh so. <laughs> You're striking? Two yeah, for two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that's going to be in there. This thing's awesome. The uh, Video Dead is like one of the very first horror movies I ever fell in love with. It's so awful. Absolutely. But it's just, I love it so much. But you're right. They sell for, I think one just sold on eBay for like 350 open. They're, they're pretty very pricey. Very, very, very sought after. And the finest sealed ones next to Maya, one's cheap then. Too cheap. I sold it to you, Maya. Yeah, you did. You gave me a deal. <laughs> And then another big one that I'm going to be giving to them, Karate Kid, first nice. release. First nice. release, Karate Kid. Last one of these sold for, I don't know if it's going to be a repeatable sale, but last one of these sold in golden for around 20 grand. So we'll see. I'll be happy at less than that. But <laughs> but but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's going to be, it, with, with Cobra Kai and all that, I mean, this is one of the movies to have in anyone's collection, and that I'm going to be giving to Heritage. Um, uh, what else we got here? Um, classic Goonies. Dun dun dun. Oh. So this isn't this is not as nice. This is a little bit later than the one Heritage just sold for 50 gram. Um that being said, it's not much later. It's like this is probably 19, you know, this is probably 1990 or 1989 or 1988. Watermarks. Um so you know, this is you know 1990 at the absolute latest, but, but it could be 1988, it could only be a year off. Let me ask um, you, is it, is it a good investment? Like for some, yeah, and that release that you have in your hand, I, sure. I it is so scarce. I yeah. I can't find them. Um, I, with what people are paying for them, I mean, I can't exactly, you know, I I can't in good conscience tell anyone to spend fifty thousand dollars on on a Goonies this early in the game. Now, is that gonna be maybe bargain price in the future? Very possibly. If this thing blows up the way it is, and I know how scarce Goonies is, um, it really could be. And it's it's one of the it's it's an awesome movie that still holds up, and it's like it's it's the it's the first appearance of Thanos, um, <laughs> the guy who plays Thanos. That's his first movie, Josh Brolin. So if you're a comic book lover, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. And, um, <laughs> I saw that movie in the theater, and that and it inspired me to start swearing. See, there you go. There you go. It, it shaped lives around the world. And, and Goonies is just, it's an absolute all-time classic. It's a timeless movie, and it does hold up. Like, it continuously, like, it's the shit. Like, is anybody it, else surprised? Is, is anybody else surprised the actor who played Chunk wasn't in more shit throughout the 80s? <laughs> The actor who played Chuck. Yeah, like, he, that was, like, his only movie. Did he, like, did he shape up? Did he? Or, or did he, yeah. like... Well, good for him. Good for he him. should have been in everything. This is one that I'm wildly excited for to be in the auction um, because this is this one has pedigree to it. Uh, and, I, and I've talked about it before on the channel. Uh, oh, it's my sealed Jesus. copy of Chopping Mall, God. which is actually a copy owned by the artist who did Chopping Mall, who actually co-owns this tape with me. He and I own 50% equity of this tape, me and Corey Wolf. Uh, the the the, uh, the guy who has it signed right down here. And if you're not a fan of signing, you can just you know take some rubbing alcohol. You can take it right off. It's not 
<laughs> doesn't really matter. But this is one of the most sought after horror tapes. It's as rare wow. as can be. It's one of the earliest releases possible. So that's the lightning sticker right there. Uh, the, the condition of it is it, it couldn't be more mint. There's no tears. There's nothing on it. It's going right to be 80 plus or 90. This thing's insane. That's so, going to be in Heritage? Yeah, this is going to be in Heritage this time. Whoa. And it's going to be under, the, uh, under Corey Wolf's pedigree because this was his original copy he was given to by the studio, just as similar to the um, Back to the Future oh, that yeah. was sold. So this is like, this is the real deal. This is so are, are we, are we going to make a big hubbub about it? What's what's happening? I'm making a big hubbub about it right now. I'm not right now. Hubbub about it. He actually, he's going to be consigning a few more of his tapes also. Because this guy has done so much Disney work, you wouldn't believe. He did the cover of Fantasia. He did the Mickey Mouse like this, you know. For, like, that painting, if it went to auction, it would sell for like 50 or $100 million. So he does Disney like, and horror. Yeah. I like yeah. so weird that he did he did one of the um, movie posters for um uh one of your favorite movies um uh, the name uh necro no not necromantic uh, no, uh, uh the um necromantic not necro is it necromantic no it's not necromantic <laughs> not necromantic it's uh you had one with ray that you saw in the last auction oh reanimator the reanimator, the animator, like, yeah. He didn't do the cover of it. I think he did one of the movie posters for it or something like that. So he's done a lot of work in horror, but his main, what his main claim to fame is, is, is the, um, is his Disney work. And like he did, like the back of the Little Mermaid cover, uh, you know, the one with the dick on it. <laughs> he did the back cover of that. Um, he, uh, he, he did, you know, the Fantasia, which is probably the most iconic cover of Mickey there is. Uh, he did Chopping Mall, which is one of the coolest VHS covers, period. Um, this The art on this is awesome. And uh, this, this lady out here is actually his, uh, at the time it was his current girlfriend. Now it's his ex-girlfriend. So that's some, that's some, some fun trivia. <laughs> but he's a really, really awesome guy. And um, I can't wait to see what his tapes bring. Because he's, he's putting a bunch of them in there that, you know, are his file copies and signed them. And it's going to be cool to see what those bring because they're all in immaculate shape and they're his copies. So that's going to be really cool. Um, anyways. Mikey, let me ask you, who, who's going to be the greater VGA only or, or VHS DNA or IGS or who? Uh, v, VGA is, is um, who I'm sending all this stuff to. So um, to, to, to specify, if you want your stuff graded by VGA, you need to get it in by the first. Uh, I believe IGS's turnaround times are quicker. Um, I'm personally a bigger fan of, of, of VGA, but I mean, it is a preference thing and, you know, people, you know, go, go do you. Um, I just think VGA is a, you know, it's a more established company and people recognize it better and I really trust them. And also they put their money where their mouth is. If they ever authenticate something that ends up not being illegitimate, they're going to pay you. They, so they they absolutely back everything up that they do. And they're a really reputable, honest company with great people backing them. So I love VGA. And so that's that's all I got to say. I absolutely love them. Um, you know, Rewind is around the corner. Obviously, I'm super biased towards Rewind because Danny is one of my closest friends. And, you know, he's going to be the expert at Rewind. Um, but Rewind's probably not going to be ready in time for this auction, but they might be. Uh, and if they are, then they're going to be in this auction also. Uh, but it's going to be uh, primarily VGA and IGS in this auction. And I would say the majority is going to be VGA. Um, and that's who I'd recommend going with. That being said, I mean, IGS still does a really good job. They put great information on their labels. I see some mess ups, but you know, <laughs> what, are, uh, what, what are those mess ups? Like, you know, they'll call something a first print. That's not a first print or like, you know, like I, I've seen plenty of little, you know, oopsies like that. And that's why I think they should really stay away from the whole first print thing. Cause you know, they should just describe the box. Like, you know, because they don't really know if it's a first print or not every time. And like, so, or they'll add like some sort of, like for instance, on Colt VHS's um, uh, uh, um, page, he has a, uh, he has a, um, what is it? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And it says back Paramount cream cover, which is supposed to be the first box and like, you know, all of that. It's not the cream box. 
So, it, and it has the ISBN number. It's not the first release. Um, um, it looks like the first release. They're basically, it doesn't say first release on it, but they're basically advertising it as the first release and it's not. So like, that's a good example right there of one that's a little messed up. One thing that did bother me is when I sent a bunch of tapes to IGS and I got them back really quickly and I really like the cases, all of that I have no complaints about. Plus, I think like for the prices that some of the other places are charging, that that's also a decent, decent price point for grading. But I didn't like that some of the tapes that we sent in that were first prints do not say first print on the label, even though they are. And I'm like, okay, well, see, that's this the is annoying. That they open up. It's like, if you're going to say that, you need to say that for the other ones or else you're detracting from them. So right. you should stay away from saying first print and all that. Yeah. Same thing with VHS DNA. They shouldn't do that. Um, but, you know, you, you can't teach stubborn people new tricks. So it's like, it's, <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, that's why, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to keep it as accurate as possible. And if a item in heritage has a label on it that, that they declare they don't like, uh, they're just not going to sell it. So it's that simple. Like, you know, we get, get a, they get a, uh, IGS one in, it says first print on it. It's not first print or it's described incorrectly, or they're just not going to sell it. So, so it's that simple. Everything's vetted, you know, everything's going to have its own description also yeah. to double, to double down on that. Um, yeah. So you don't have to worry about that in that auction. So that's really good because currently uh, Heritage is the only auction house that's selling major tapes that actually has a true VHS expert. Um, and that's Jay and he kicks ass. And then, you know, Jay and I talk about it regularly and Jay talks to Danny regularly and, and heritage will have Danny come in and like literally vet the auction. And like, it's, it's, they make sure everything there is a hundred percent legitimate as you should do, <laughs> which is apparently a foreign concept, but it's not like they absolutely vet everything and they make the descriptions the exact way that they're supposed to be. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I'm excited for it. Have any of you guys here uh, used any other grading companies besides VGA or IGS? Have you I used any? Just I, I cannot name. I cannot name that other guy. Oh, okay. Well, somebody asked in our comments if anybody had any feelings of VHS DNA, but I don't think any of us have used it, so I can't really. I, I've used it. I've used it. Oh, have you? Okay. I've used it. I'm. I'm not. Um, I. I. I'm. Def I'm not a fan of the case design. I think the case design is way too bulky, and it blocks the. It blocks the top part of the case. I mean, it kind of looks cool as a mantelpiece, and I understand that. I mean, it's a little tacky, but it, it, it's it's not exactly practical. Uh, mm -hmm. especially if you're going to have a whole collection of these things. It doesn't really make sense. If you were to just buy the IGS mantle for the bottom and then put it on there, which is like 20 bucks, uh, it looks just as good as the uh, VHS DNA one. Uh, further, I've seen so many mistakes on VHS DNA cases, and I, I, I can't. I can't promote them. I can't. And yeah, uh, I, I never recommend them just because I feel like for a new company, um, which if you're going to pick between, if you're looking at just IGS or VHS DNA, I mean, VGA is like on the top. And then between those two, just by price point, IGS beats them. And that's the other um, thing. V so it's VHS like, DNA is very expensive and, and the turnaround yeah. times are slow. Not that VGAs aren't. Um, IGS, they really kick ass on turnaround times. Um, but you know, and, and VHS DNA, like the guy is knowledgeable and, and I really wish him the best. And, and, and I really hope that his company succeeds. Um, he's, he's got, you know, a lot of passion for this and, and I, there's a lot of things I do respect about him, but I, I just can't in good faith recommend using his service based off of the quality that I've seen from it. Um, even more so than IGS, which I've seen plenty of mistakes on. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Anybody else got any more comments before we move on to the market report? CGC will will be also grading, so I think that will be a big factor, especially for the crossover comic book collector guys that they are familiar with CGC. They're gonna send their stuff to CGC, and if they have a grading system, if they're gonna do that nine two nine four nine six nine eight, yeah, especially like that chopping mold. That, that that's what I like, and that comes <laughs> with yeah. Yeah, that's a huge difference, and then. 
And those price points are going to be more um, versus, you know, like 80 or 85 on DGA. That's 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 basically what you see. But CGC right. has like four different ones on the top, 92, 94, 96, 98. And the price yeah. difference is big there for cops. Absolutely. Especially Beckett's going to start grading too. Beckett. Who? Uh, Beckett. That's Beckett. Another yeah. thing I'd like to make a point of for, for grading. Don't have anything graded right now unless you're selling it. There is no point to grade anything unless you're selling it. Right now is the grading war. So you don't know if it's going to be around in a year. CGC is probably not going to start grading for another six months to a year. And that might be the one that ends up being king. Rewind is around the corner. They might end up being king. So you don't want to like you know, waste all this money grading and then see that, oh, I used the wrong grading company that ended up dissolving or you know getting absorbed by another company. And now I've got this irrelevant case that's kind of meaningless. And I'm going to have to spend another $100, $200 to get each one of my tapes graded individually. And that's going to be a pain in the ass. So unless you're planning to sell, don't grade it. Just don't. Save yourself the money. And But if you're selling, absolutely grade it. Take, do your research on all of them or just you know, do whatever we say because, you know, we're the tape heads. So what, who, who could possibly know better than us? Uh, <laughs> um, but, like, you really shouldn't, you know, grade unless you are absolutely ready to sell it. If you are keeping it for your collection, Keep it in a nice, safe, cool, climate-controlled environment and hold it. Don't do anything with it. Don't grade it. Don't send it off. Don't do anything because, you know, that's what you want to keep. That's what you want to keep. And you do not want it to get authenticated by the wrong company. That's a good advice. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. I uh, we did we sent initially two shipments to IGS that we had graded because Nico is going to send some of his tapes for Heritage. But since that initial, we've just been holding everything. We're just going to wait, wait Absolutely. it out and see. There's just too many grading companies, and it's like just wait it out. You don't even, it's a new market. We don't need to have them graded right now. So you absolutely it's good don't. advice. Unless you're selling them, then send them to Heritage ASAP because they need them by the first so they can get them into this auction. Uh, so do that. Thousand dollars right. in updates. So let me see here. Let me pull up what I got for our. You see that Star Wars market report here. Check this out, guys. Okay, so Fright Night, eight eight five sixteen fifty. I thought that was pretty wicked. Yeah, it was side watermarks too. That's good. That's yeah, good that's really good money. Check that oh, out. Bad side watermarks. Late side watermarks. Yeah, late side. <laughs> I was. I thought they got oh, a good. Price. So that's the no seller good. got a good price I think for this. Someone was confused bidding, but maybe not. Uh, maybe that's actually a you know legitimate price. I mean, it's one of the best you know movies there is for that time period. That's what um, I was looking out for with the um, with the flatliners. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. everything, yeah. everything else could be right, but the watermarks are off. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah when you were talking about that on flatliners, yeah. I immediately thought of this because when I saw it, I was like, "Wow, I'm surprised that it went for that high." It's pretty crispy clean though. I like yeah, Friday Night 2 also the, with the white cover. Yeah. yeah that was tough mm. too to get a first release. That was really tough. All right. Let's see what else we got. Flash Gordon Beta went for 1400 Oof. Yeah. Uh, I, what, I, 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 what I love, it was just like that one picture. That's yeah. It. That, this is it. That's it. This That's is the need. one photo. Oh, my God. I did not see that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one photo. I probably did that one. That you know what? I bet you he did. I bet you he uh, posted that and he meant to add more pictures, but somebody just bought it. Maybe. Well, that's also a really cool <laughs> seller. I, I absolutely love that seller. Uh, he's one of my favorites. Um, I've gotten some of my best tapes from him. And so, you know, it, it, he probably wasn't even done uploading it if someone right. stacked it because that's a really trusted guy. Mm. So, yeah. It went fast. Mm, All right, I sure. think 80% of the eBay sellers. Uh, okay, Ghost in the Shell. Oh, wait, here's Charles. Oh, I love Ghost in the Shell. Hi, Charles. Blue. Yo. Hey. Let's see. Do these have watermarks? Yeah, uh, there's like, well, it's the stickers on the outside, so that it's pretty. I don't know if there's watermarks or not, but it's pretty. It's going to be hard to fake those stickers on the outside of the, the, the wrapping. These photos are awful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's like three or four variations of Ghost in the Shell. Um, and yeah, that one's awesome. That one's really awesome. I didn't see that for sale. I probably would have bid not much higher than that, but that looks legit. I can't believe they're going for this high. I would have never guessed that. That thing's really we're 30. Cool. Only had 10 bids on it. 
Yeah, there right, let's see what else. Been 11 if I got to it. <laughs> 510 for yep. CBX Commando. Yeah, that was a really good price because that's a blue watermark. How about this one, though? Oof. Beetlejuice. What, um, what, uh, oh, I would have bought that. I didn't yeah. see that. Oh, that's a good price. Wrap that around. That's, that's like a two thousand dollar tape. I'm so really? mad. Holy I'm yeah, so that wrap mad around's hard to find for Beetlejuice for sure. Yeah, yeah. I have two. I, of them. I would. I would have yeah. bid at least fifteen hundred. You have on it. two of them. I have two of them. Yeah. Damn it! You guys have the coolest <laughs> shit. I see how it is. <laughs> yeah. So I know who got. Good. I think I know who got that one. Yeah. Chris, that'd be a good one to put in the heritage auction. That God is damn it, Mikey. Like, <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you get for saying you have two of them. Well, no, I think you'll make a lot of money on it. I think it'll yeah, do really, really well. So. And he's got two of them, so no harm, no foul. Mm, 707 on the Top Gun VHS. Cool. We see these all the time, though, so I guess yeah, not. Is that back watermarks, though? Let's see. It was back watermarks. It went for a lot more. Yeah, it would have been more. Yeah, I think it was a side, a side, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. That's... What, there are there no photos on the back? Yeah. Oh, no. There side. There you side. go. Yeah, side one. Yeah. There is a ton of these out there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. That's Star Wars, which are 1,200. That's a lot of tabs. There's so many tabs. <laughs> so this is a later one, right? Still one yeah. for 1,200. Um, What watermarks are on it? Let's see. I think it was a bottom blue right. one. Is it barcode on the side? Yeah. Barcode on this. Is it barcode on the bottom? Mm, I don't know if they have yeah. a photo of the bottom. Oh. Do they? Oh. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. so that's that's actually kind of rare. Um, you, you don't see that too often with barcode on the bottom and on the side. I I, I don't I don't actually think it's that cool, but like it it is technically really rare. So I just uh for the people who find these, um, even if you don't have the one that's worth, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars. You this still might get twelve hundred bucks out of it. This copy right here is the one that sold in Golden for fifty something thousand dollars, for fifty seven thousand dollars. This copy right here is the one that sold for fifty seven grand. Oof. Which was a confused buyer. They did yeah. not. They probably thought they were bidding on a first release. That's a tough um, one. Jeez. But this is the exact copy that sold on Golden for fifty seven grand. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what they say: a fool and his money are soon parted. There was less, le much less knowledge out in the internet. I can clarify. I think twelve hundred dollars is a strong price for that, even though one did sell for fifty something thousand. <laughs> Back to the future. No, eighty nine. Eighty nine, right? That's eighty six, right? Oh, this, I think this is the eighty six. Well, eighty seven, because not wrap around. I can so that find was the watermarks, and probably would have went for more if it didn't have the ugly sticker on it. So that was a pretty hideous sticker. I don't see any watermarks yeah, on no this watermarks, though. though. There's no watermarks on this. Oh, that's no, yeah, there isn't none. Yeah, yeah there's none. Oh, it looks also <laughs> crunchy up at the at the top left. Yeah, and it doesn't. It looks like somebody put some stickers on the front too. Those price tags oh. look a little goofy. Hey, how bad how bad oh. does a sticker like that affect a grade? Um, I don't think too much. It just makes it unsightly. But this does yeah. that seals it's, funny. It's yeah, so easy to does. get that stuff off, yeah. and like just seeing that on there for this tape with no watermarks. I'm like, no, thank you. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. this is sus. With no watermarks. I don't think that's a good buy. No. Yeah, uh, I feel bad for who bought that. I but. pulled this up because I was like, wow, I can't believe this only went for twelve hundred. Now I see why. Yeah, There's you want to on the back. Safe with MCA, you should have watermarks all the time. Look, look, go to the very back photo. Is there a seam? Doesn't look like it. There doesn't look like there's a seam. Yeah, there, there should be a seam. No, I'm, I, I, I bet my money that that's resealed. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's. Look, on, it looks like, like there's like damage. Look at the damage right here too. Mikey, can I see Mikey's? The back cover of Mikey's to see the difference. Yeah. Oh yeah, hold on, my bad. Yeah, I'd bet money that's resealed. That's For the viewers, so they can see how how does it how how does it look on the back on the scene? It's sort of see. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like the yeah down the middle. MCA yeah. always has those like back scenes in that area. So if you don't mm -hmm. see that and there's no watermarks, that's a resale. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lot of money for a resale. So I feel sorry for who bought that. We're not trying to rag on you, but 
Yeah, just I mean, it's education. It's probably not too late to return it, so maybe we save some guy twelve hundred bucks. Well, yeah, this but- one ended on June fourteenth. I've been it's- trying to pull the uh, the listings that have ended over a week ago uh, and not get too close to the day of the show because I don't want to be the cause of anybody <laughs> getting backdoored. <laughs> Thanks for that tip, guys. Sorry if I ruined something for you. Yeah, but uh, so let's go cool. within the, uh, the, the the eBay return period for something. That's not good. Yeah. Good, so. good. So if you bought this and you're out there, return it. <laughs> yeah. It Damn. Damn. Shit. And you see that happens in the auctions too. We get to see it here on eBay. Like I'm sure on Heritage and Golding is two guys fighting for it. That's all you need. Two guys trying to win it and they made a mistake. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looked, it honestly looked really good for a resale. For a resale, it looked like kind of baller. I've seen a lot of, I, I feel like in the beginning, I didn't see a lot of graded tapes being bought. And now I'm seeing more and more of them. Mm-hmm. But this one's old. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's a pretty, pretty decent price for one of those. But... I would say so too, because people didn't realize at first just how common these were. Yeah. Uh, and now it's, you know, it's, there's one of these that sells every week. And there should so be a pretty good number. Is so. this spot right here by his? Uh, yeah, that's your watermark right there. That's the watermark. Yeah. Okay. That's your yeah. leftover HBO video watermark. Yeah, they rub off so easy. But this is what the fourth release? Fifth? I don't know. Um, one, two, fourth, right? Three, three fourth, right? Four, five. Four. It's, five. it's, it's five. pretty good money for a fifth release. For a fifth release. <laughs> but it's there another one of those. Of, there's a lot of confusion on that one with a lot of people. The Terminator still because it doesn't actually have the. The right year on the back, they see 84, 85, and people think it's an early one. And it's, it's oh, really yeah. nice. it's an this it's an is not 80. a good buy, in my opinion. You need the white That's water. That's a strong ass price. You need the yeah. white marks. That's strong. That's no good is, this Predator is such a hard tape in general to find just with white watermarks because it was right on the cusp. I mean, the, the, the I think it came out on VHS in 89. So there's only a small mm-hmm. point where you could actually mm-hmm. get it with white watermarks. That's so why they, I brought this one up. I was going to ask you guys if there were even tape predator tapes with white watermarks. There, there are. I can, I can pull one out for you. Uh, yeah. I, I can pull two or three out for you. Uh, but, <laughs> but that's because I was hoarding them because I knew how tough they were. And like they almost never come up. And when I had the chance to buy them, every time I would. Uh, anything yeah, that's man. on the cut, yeah, die hard. Um, like those, those kinds of movies, people need to go after because if you see those with white watermarks, they're very hard to get. All yeah. of those past movies, like Labyrinth, for instance, getting an Embassy Labyrinth because because in '88 it changed to Nelson, so yep. it's an '87 movie. An Embassy Labyrinth is so damn tough. I've only seen two of them. Like there, those are really really hard. Those past yeah. movies. Yeah, um, and even uh, even the CBS Fox Blue movie. one is a little rare for Predator because it is. They, it they is. only did that for a short time before it was Fox Video. So that was yeah, they even, only had a year doing that exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So this actually could be a legitimate sale for this one, unlike yeah. the other one that I was like, oh, they kind of messed up. Uh, <laughs> this one, I think this is a good price. Grade too, because eight, eight, five, nine. That's really it's pretty high. high. So that that that's not that 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 by the grade. I don't disapprove of this buy. I'm not sure if it was a good move or not, but I don't disapprove. Yeah. Hmm. Time will tell. Time will tell exactly. Let's see what else. What else did I pull up here? Okay, so sure, this. Man. Yeah, these blow my mind. Okay, these, wait, but there's another one here too. Dirtless, All right, man. so what am I missing here? That this one on June 22nd went for 612, and this one on June 11th went for 2550. What okay. is the difference? So the other one, this one I think was a 24 hour auction. Okay. Mm-hmm. So bizarre. Less bidding retention on this one. Somebody needed crack money. Yeah. <laughs> you need some money fast. That one was a 24 hour auction. Um, and maybe the conditions were still, I'm not totally sure, but this was posted as a 24 hour option. That's so bizarre. So, is this the first, the, the best movie to buy for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I disagree, but you know, what's the best one, Mikey? I just like the American one with the so do I. Turtles watermarks. On Me too. It. That's my favorite. Turtle watermark is it's great. The American one that has a raised embossed turtles logo, and that one's really rare. Um, and then there's like another one that's like has a toy or a handkerchief. I don't know something. It has something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that one's really cool. Um, yeah, these this- watermarks are super lame. The MCA home video <laughs> watermark. <laughs> They're super lame. <laughs> these are super lame compared to the turtles, turtles faces as the watermarks. I mean, the turtles faces were fantastic. This. You know, 
I never understood why this is the one, but this is the one. I just can't believe the price difference in that in like two weeks. Because well, they look the other kind one of the same. Was a full blown auction. This one was 24 hours. It's just whack. Do you, do you think this like, was a steal yeah. for 600 bucks, Mikey? Dude, I, I don't, I don't know. I, that plastic looks kind of. I, I don't know anymore though. either, to be honest with you. So that's why I there, there's so with turtles, it is such a large fan base that is not going anywhere. And you know, I come from comic books, so I love Ninja Turtles. Um, and I know the demand that there's going to be for this tape. So is it a bad buy? Probably not, honestly. Uh, yeah. But I'm not. I'm. I see other things that are better to buy for that kind of money. Maybe not for six hundred and twelve dollars, but definitely for two thousand four hundred. Yeah. And the, now let's say like someone put one up for sale that's like a ten ten, or 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 a VGA ninety ninety five. Like okay, I'm gonna shell out some big cash for that. Well, just one just like sold Harry in Heritage. Austin. Yeah, like I like the one in like I, in, in Heritage, I bought the um, ET promo that was a ninety because, like, what else am I going to see another one of those? I think it was a nine. I think it was a ninety plus, and like that could be legitimately the nicest one of those on the planet. And yeah, ET is very common, but when you get down to the Pepsi promo of it, it gets a lot less common. Now you get down to the grade, it's not common at all. So buying things like that in really high grade, that's going to make a difference later. Okay, so Would check you? this one out. Went for seven oh nine. I have no idea what this is. Back watermarks? No. <laughs> you don't know what Willow no. is? No, I don't know what Willow is. I don't know what Willow is. I don't know what Willow Rikini. is. What year did this come out? Eighty eight. Uh, okay, so um, okay. I wasn't born for another like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, seven I'm, years. <laughs> but they're about to come out with a um, with a, a Willow show. movie, and this is first print Willow, by the way. Yeah. Um, it has the sticker. I, I have seen one Willow with double RCA on the back before, um, but I, that, that I'm pretty sure was a fluke. And I mean, obviously that, that would be the coolest one to have, but I think that was just a leftover wrap. And there's a uh, sticker so, right there. But that's it's the cool. sticker you look for. Gotcha. for, a for a so these so. don't come back with back watermarks. They right? shouldn't. I've they seen one that has, but I, I'm, I'm 99% certain that that was a fluke. Let me ask uh, you this: this is, this is this is the best buy with that little sticker there on the at the bottom. That indicates first release for Willow, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a good buy, especially if it's about to have a Disney Plus show. I think I think it's, I think Disney Plus. Yeah. yeah. It looks um, like it's so a really good shape too. So I think that would do strong graded and like in an auction that would do really strong. Be I mean, so there, there was one that sold in Heritage, and I think it did. It sold for over double that. So yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, and I, I thought that was even more. Low. I thought that was even low. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, then. That was at the beginning of June. So whoever snagged Goodbye. that up. Yeah. All right. How about Deliverance? <sighs> I know I've asked you guys this before, but uh, why is the sticker sought after? Um, it means it's old. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, it's yeah. early Warner Home okay, videos. So. Uh, yeah, that's right. Right. Wrap around. That sticker, it's going to always have a wrap around. That sticker means wrap around. And oh, usually okay. it was only there in 85 and 86. Um, yeah. So that that's why the sticker is really awesome. It indicates 85, 86. Um, I, it's but a good I, I, honestly, I probably would have paid more than 455 for yeah, this. I was going to say, I, 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 think, I feel like this is a good so, pickup for as, yeah. for as uh, much as Deliverance is referenced and people still you know, uh, know what it is. I think a yeah, wraparound of this nice is pretty good. I was thinking from the seventies. Yeah. It should be a clamshell of this, right? Oh, is I there? I forgot to bid on that one. The movie is nineteen seventy-two, so it should be a clamshell. Before yeah, the I was. Thing. Yeah, I was looking this movie up, and there is a clamshell. There is a clam. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's an earlier release, but this is an early Warner wraparound one. So okay, so you're good either way. Yeah, you're good either way. This, like, this yeah. is still a good price for that. Yeah, yeah I forgot to bid on it. Burt Reynolds. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, Young Frankenstein. Oh, wow. That's that. Mikey's. Yeah. Mikey, was I bidding against you on that? Because I, should, I think it was me and Mikey. Yeah, dude, my bid was 10 grand. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I didn't win it. <laughs> I was, it was an amazing tape. Yeah. It's a cool tape. I'm going to throw that one into the Heritage Auction, I think, because I have two of them. And um, I mean, that, that thing is so, so damn cool. Um, yeah. I'm surprised one exists, let alone two. Um, it's one of the best Mel Brooks movies. Mel Brooks is the man. Um, and I, I mean, it speaks for itself, dude. It, That's it's awesome. That's the first, shape, first, dude, first release. It's in, it's in very nice shape. It's not it as nice like shape it. as 
other one, but <laughs> that's the one I'm going to throw back an auction. I absolutely adore that movie. So and Magnetic Video, they don't have any watermarks, do they? So in 81, in roughly mid-81 is when Magnetic Video started adding uh, watermarks. Yeah. And then it was a very short time before their stuff became CBS Fox. So. Correct. Wow. So yeah, you actually like see the some... Earliest. You have to check them based off of the seams and off of other magnetic yeah. videos and, yeah. and how the plastic feels. And you know, they were only around for three years, right? Two to three. Yeah. And yeah. you'll wow. actually see some magnetic videos that have CBS Fox watermarks on the back, too, because they kept using the boxes when CBS yeah, Fox absolutely. first took them over. So you'll see it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So when did they switch from using this logo to using the like circle logo? Uh, that, that was before. The circle logo was pre this logo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, so like Alien would have this logo on it. They have the yeah. other logo on it, the circle mm -hmm. logo. But okay. This is a good buy. I mean, like Mikey said, Magnetic Video is like the one of the first people to produce VHS okay. and beta. And the fact that this exists after 40-something years in this shape is crazy. It's beautiful. This, yeah. this guy had a bunch of really incredible stuff up, and I bought pretty much all of them. Um, <laughs> I, I was begging him to get signed the narrative. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll bid on this in heritage then. Just put it back. Uh, into it. <laughs> just, th just throw it back in the ocean. Yeah, so, if you guys like, have to choose, get them graded and like you know, put them in the auction. I don't want you to leave so much money on the table because he had some incredible. Like he had a first release in Indiana Jones. Like yeah. you know, that's a tape that you should put in a major auction with with a lot of eyes on. Them. Um. So, I wish he listened. If you guys cool. have to choose, Gene Wilder. In Young Frankenstein or in Willy Wonka, which one is which one do you think is better? That's a tough call. Because I like I saw Willy Wonka first, obviously, but like I this movie, I'm like I, I think I like this better. I think I like this better. better. Yeah. Yeah. He's brilliant in both. He's brilliant in both. He's so amazing. I love him. I'm giving with him this movie. This movie for sure. Magnetics are so rare. Movie. He's I love Wonka so much that I, I flew to Munich, Germany, just to do uh, film locations for Willy Wonka. That's how much I like Willy Wonka. So, oh my god, I'm not talking Willy Wonka, Charles. Don't worry. <laughs> I love it. I look like Augustus Gloop most of the time. I'm like an He's old, like depressed That's what Augustus. You love about it. <laughs> That's what I'm like Augustus Gloop, like in the future. He's like never got any chocolate, guys. Let's talk for about the, tapes. At the next Heritage Auctions, if you show up, I'll make sure you have ample chocolate there. Thank you. There was no You're chocolate. Welcome. So. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll show up in September then. Don't worry. Oh, there, there'll yeah. be so much chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What we're uh, let me see oh, what chocolate. Else here. Yeah. I like chocolate. All right. What else did they pull up here? Okay. So check this out. Very bizarre. That looks cool. Um, this is a Netflix box. What? Yeah. These oh, were, oh, these were sold at the pop-up store. So Netflix did a VHS pop-up store for Fear Street. And these were only sold oh. there. So this is so cool. Oh, um, dude. I don't, so I don't wow. have one of these and I want one of these. And I'm, so those yeah. should go for more. That, I, I would pay a thousand bucks for one of those right now. So <laughs> like, if I would have known this was a thing, I would have also. Thing. I'll pay, I'll pay 1250 102. I'll pay 1250 203. I'll pay 100,000 Mexican pesos. So, for those of you For those of you who aren't familiar, um Fear Street is a Netflix original series. It's like um uh, I don't know if it's like a TV show or if it were just short movies. I haven't watched them yet. I actually just found them when I started movies, watching yeah. three movies. Mhm. Mm I just started watching, or when I started watching Stranger Things, I saw them on there, and I was like, "Ooh, what is this?" And They're then I good. saw these, and I was in love. So that's my question. And then on top of that, yeah. these I'm going for these are actually DVDs, um, but they look like VHS boxes, and I had no idea these were so sought after. That's cool. I didn't know those were sought after. Right now, I mean, Stranger Things is all the rage. Three hundred bucks. Somebody bought these for. Damn. I couldn't believe it. Like they sold these at Target. I have one. I think I like paid like twenty dollars for it. Like it's so funny. I don't like I see them. I don't even pay attention to them. I don't. I, I don't either. Yeah, like this I don't is one of those DVDs, but they're cool wow. though. This yeah. is one of those like yeah, produced I'm collectibles. Right because the show's out and yeah. all that, I would recommend selling them if you have them. Yeah, sell them now. Yeah, yeah. sell them all, guys. Because right. the series is about to end. I mean. 
I don't know if they're going to go on anymore. After yeah, that. it's got one more season. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, so right now is the great time to sell them because it's a fantastic show. And whoever did the art for these two, amazing. It kicks ass. It kicks ass. They really hit the the nail on yeah, the head. Really, ET John Albany. That's really cool. Mm. Yeah, man. So I thought that was, was cool. Um, okay, this went for. Let me find it. Five fifty. You guys think that's a good price for these? Yeah, I do. That's they're going yeah. for all five fifty, yeah, six hundred. Well, that's not a bad deal. I have three of them. You think they're gonna bust them open I, and have them graded, or you think they're just? I gonna... hope not. That's what everybody was doing. That's why there's so many high graded, like Back to the Future twos and threes, because <laughs> everybody kept opening these. But they so have you, a lot of notes. Mm-hmm. You recommend mm-hmm. grading them as a box? Uh, that's the cool thing about VGA is that they can grade anything any size. Yeah. So Damn. that's like, dude, if you have that old GI Joe aircraft carrier, VGA will grade it. You know, oh you can, lord! You oh, like three feet tall, they'll grade it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. They've, they've like doubled I mean, in price. Uh, we sent VGA that RoboCop VHS VCR game. <gasps> there you go. So that's gonna you, be cool. You know what? I'm mad. I'm super salty because I started buying a bunch of those VCR board games, thinking like this is mm. fucking cool. And then I feel like everybody was just like, yeah, those aren't that cool. So I stopped okay. buying them. And then Charles was like, yeah, look what I have. And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. They're, they're really cool, guys. So there's a lot of VCR board games that were released in the 80s that are really, really rare, actually. They did some for like RoboCop and stuff like that. And there's some wrestling to ones, too. You know, I bought cool. like a whole box of five of the wrestling ones. And I sent one to Dino because he's like a big wrestling guy. But that's cool. I bought a bunch of those. I think it's I think it has Hulk Hogan on the front of it. I don't know. I'm not like into wrestling, but I like the games. I know recently I got the it was from the mid 80s. It's Clue and Clue 2. But literally, I'd never seen one that was beta. Like literally, it was printed as beta and had a beta sticker on it. I was like, there can't be that many of these out there because nobody bought beta. Who's gonna buy a beta board game of clue? So I was For like, sure. and the guy sold them to like eight dollars a piece or something. I was like, Yeah, I'll take them. Like, yeah, I got a me. couple different ones. I've got one that looks like some kind of horror game. It's got like a sturgeon or something on the front of it. Um, and I've got a couple America's Funniest Home Videos or something. I don't know. I bought them when Bob Saget died. And I was like, these are cool. I am. They're got cool. Bob Saget's I like them. face on them. I like them. It's a lot more real estate because you can be like, oh, I got to have this board game. And it's like, okay. Yeah. Put it somewhere. But no, they're pretty cool. All right. Check this out. Yeah. Another uh, new production yeah. thing. I- I don't understand. I mean, I guess I get it. And I don't get it. But I don't. I don't understand the desire to spend that much on this tape. But I have no well, idea. That's I'm a horror person. I, I I've met Joe Bob Briggs and I know about his show. And it's just it's a lot for for that for a sealed tape. And it's so hard to grade it because they're all look like crap. You know. Yeah, it's still street trash. <laughs> it's still. I mean, if it was an original street trash, yeah, that's right. A well, but it's a whole different ball game. You know, real street trash. I don't know if that's worth five grand, ten grand. You know, it's street trash. But Let's go ten grand. We'll start ten. 10 and we'll... Good, because I have one. So I know you do. Uh, <laughs> but you know, this is still neat, and, and the art's sick. Uh, what, what I really like about? these new production tapes. I'm a is that, fan. Is that like 2010 or something? Um, I don't know. It says on the back. Uh, that was 2021. 2021. 2021. Yeah. It's recently. Damn. I was gonna know, say these... it has to be new because Shutter's not that old. Yeah. These these tapes are. I don't know, like, I'm surprised we don't see a lot more of these, and we probably will see a lot more of these, because these are so cheap to make for these companies. It literally costs, like, four bucks to have these made with the tape and everything, so. Yeah. I, I don't know why, and I'm hoping that they're, that VHS is becoming more of a collectible market, that they well, will I, start making some kind of reproduction so, tapes, because there's, like... I think they're going to start doing it for Marvel movies a lot more. Yes, yeah. how cool would that be? Well, not only that, but, like, this. I just spent, like, 400 bucks on a copy of Video Violence, because I've been looking everywhere to, like, stream it, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I just need to buy it on just VHS it. so I can watch it. And, well, I did. But I'm like, why couldn't I just find a reproduction tape of this? Because I don't you know, like it. Watch it. It, it. It's funny people mention that, too, because that's something we've been looking at through my company, Dark Nostalgia Video, is actually doing re-releases of VHS for movies. So we've that's how I know the prices it's of it. Because the license, if you do the licensing, it's game over. Well, weird enough, yeah. I was just I just cool. watched a copy of the movie Zombie, uh, which I hadn't seen before. And it was an or- original Wizard Video box, but a reproduction tape. Um, and at the beginning of the tape, it had the guy that like made the movie explaining about how he found all these like mint. Oh, Charles, boxes. Charlie Van. 
yeah, yeah, from the time, but like they made reproduction tapes for them. And he went all through and he's, I think he said that like for a lot of the movies that they made um, and printed in these reproduction tapes that he paid like five grand for all the rights for the movies. And I was like, excuse me, that's Nowadays, it. Like, it's that's, not that easy. I can't, I can't believe tell you that. I'm sure you did pretty well on that. Oh, God. It's insane. Okay. So what else did I have for you guys here? Um, okay. So Anchorman, how oh, cool no. is this? What the hell? Jeez, that's a, dude. Yeah. Full disclosure, I bought a ton of these, this exact tape for like ten dollars, um, maybe yeah. like a year ago. <laughs> there is another version where it's, he's sitting without the pants. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple of those too. No, this one is wrong. Yeah, that's there's something's it's, off. It's, it's a twenty five, fifty dollar tape, fifty a hundred at best. So you think it's like fake sale? That's it's, a that's a mistake, a kid playing with the father's computer. <laughs> It's is it fuckery afoot? I hope it's not. It would be wicked if it is. That escalated no. quickly. That escalated quickly. The seal <laughs> even looked off. Does it have a watermark? It says watermarks. Yeah, it does on the bottom. Yeah, there Dreamworks. Yeah, okay. This one, I'm t- this is 2004, so there should be a ton of these. I guess yeah. we'll see. Actually, let's see what the other ones are selling for. No, if it was a, promo or a, or a demo tape, maybe. No, it's not. Yes. That's weird, but I don't know. Yeah, that's Dude, weird. Uh, I, I actually have to drop, guys. I can't stay on the full time. I want to jump in, but I have you to drop. Stop so I go. What'd you call me? <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> oh, I, I love you guys. I love you guys. But I'll be back on next week. Okay. Later, Charles. Oh, yeah, you're right, Pablo. This is for sure got to be fake. Yeah, come on. Well, no, just because, you know, ones have sold for, you know, less doesn't mean you know someone's still yeah, to me this one is is either a mistake or, or money laundering time money laundering. <laughs> <laughs> or someone was really oh, what a it. bummer i got so excited for a minute okay let's see what else here and the others might not have the watermarks that that one has um okay so this also bizarre i thought um i believe this copy of texas chainsaw massacre only came out in video treasures because it's like the 80s release I don't think there is one that just says media, um, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, there, there's, I, I believe, in '89 or something like that that doesn't say. There should be a media release of this. So this is also another. Oh, okay. Thing. Okay. There, well, this one was more... best offer for 500, which I was like, is how can that be right? Because just last month, you can see they were just selling for like around 80 bucks. So I'm like, how? Is yeah, that one. Thing? That one is super common. You want the media release uh, on someone who doesn't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At all times, guys. Avoid video treasures. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I asked. I couldn't remember. I thought there was one know. that Charles told us that um there's some horror cover. I don't remember what it is now. I thought it was this, but it isn't. I don't there is no media, it's just video treasures because of when it came out. And I don't think you should necessarily avoid media treasures at the right price because well, yeah. some of these are gonna be so scarce to get no. period that this might be the best you can get like texas chainsaw massacre the 86 the 84 copy those are rare i've only seen one of the 89 or 88 copy like it and you're not finding the wizard video one same thing with nightmare on elm street i mean if spend a hundred bucks on one of those why not i mean the, 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 the bucks, i'm good with it mikey i know i don't i don't agree with high prices well i'm not saying high prices i'm saying a hundred dollars yeah that that i'm okay and I, I think that those are probably good ones to sit on because they, they can't be that common. Mm-hmm. Um, but relative to the other ones, you're it's going to be really tough to get the other ones. And you're going to have to shell out a lot of money to get those. Um, I mean, if you just look at sales, like, I mean, a, a 87 Nightmare on Elm Street sold for I think right. it was there, no. Sorry to interrupt you. It's a media there over there. Yeah, but that, oh, yeah. that's the media. So why not spend $100 oh, yeah. on it? Open. It's yeah. open, but you should find that one sealed. That should be worth oh, a lot. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, that the last one of those sold for like, you know, I don't know, four or five grand. So, like, you know, spending, you know, a few couple hundred bucks on the, the release after that doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, you're right. Honestly, yeah, so, I get what you're saying, Mikey. Like, you know, sometimes you just take what you can get, especially with stuff wow. that is that scarce and rare. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not saying spend a thousand bucks on one of those, but check out this too. That's open, right? Yeah. Yes, these are open. Oof. Wait, what? Astral Beta. Oh. What? Went for fifteen hundred. What release is Wait. this? 
That's foreign, right? That's not U.S. release. Really. Yeah. Okay. That's got to be foreign. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea. It's. It's. I know it's the Astro, but I don't. I think it's Canadian, maybe. Definitely not U.S. release. I never seen that for. Oh, here US. we go. Yeah. Toronto, Canada. Ontario. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, but when? What? What's the date? Um. Oh, there's Roman numerals. Give me a second. Eighty-four. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, scroll up a little bit. Eighty-four. There they are. Uh, yeah. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Mm -hmm. Eighty-four. 84, 84. Yeah. Mike, you remember the school year. that, but I guess it's rare. So cool. Um, yeah, how bizarre, right? So it's rare. So that, that's actually probably a rare sought after thing. It's kind of got a cool cover. It looks really open tape though. So I thought that was cool. Went for I so much. Too. I, you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let me it's ask, a lot of money. Let me you ask can get a legitimate first release open for that. So let me ask Chris uh, Merson out. Do you guys think uh, foreign movies is a good investment, like Canadian or or Mexico or? Right. Sure. I tell you what, I've been I've been seeing a lot of Japanese releases. Japanese, and those look those look kind of hot. I've got this one of the labyrinth that's fucking sweet. Yeah, yeah. when they're this old, yeah. You yeah, this is an sure. '89 release of the labyrinth. Well, that's um, fucking cool. Yeah. cool. I wish Charles was still here because he collects Japanese, uh, and this would probably make him jealous. So, <laughs> no, what are my <laughs> Um, same thing with like weird Pokemon ones. Cause like, you know, all the Pokemon ones in the U S are fairly common, but like, you know, I go after like, you know, these ones that have really cool covers, um, you know, really old and you know, two-tone tape at the bottom. That, ma that makes sense. That and makes sense. I like these. I like these. And, and they're relatively cheap. I mean, like a hundred bucks or something like that. And you know, I'll take the gamble. Why not? Yeah. Okay. What else do I have here? Um, let me see. Yeah, oh, wizard not. video first print That's obviously super, open but still half the price though of the canadian later release right i feel like this is the one you want though i don't know it's pretty I, I beat up know. probably the canadian one's much more scarce and and you're right you're right this is beat up and has tape and you know there, there's things that are ugly about this one so beat up um and i'm, I'm actually looking for too if anybody uh has one i need a box for a beta wizard Texas Chainsaw cool. Massacre. That's I have cool. the tape. I need the box. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, and this is the one Pablo sent me. Sold for 510. I never even heard of this. Yeah. What is I want that? that one. It's oh, a super cool cover, though. Camp video, though, unsurprising. Camp video stuff always goes for big. Yeah, I have video violence. Mm. Mm. I guess. That's cool. But I yeah. think I think I saw this one. The guy released it for one seventy. If I'm not oh, mistaken, oh, did he? I think so. If you look at sold listings, it should be another one of those that sold for much less than five ten. Hmm. I don't think it's a five hundred dollar tape, but yeah, it was bizarre. Like but it. anyway, that's it's, all I picked out for this little big listing. box camp video. Those those oh, are wait. This one. Know, this is the one I was going to show you. Video oh, day. Yeah, Good. I went for three fifty five. What? Yeah, three fifty five. Oh, but that box is awesome. It still has the plastic on it. Yeah, the plastic on it's almost better than the plastic on mine. <laughs> Except mine's really sealed. Mine really is sealed, but it's pretty messed up. <laughs> yeah, love it. I was freaking out the other day. I, I put mine in. I was trying to make my friend Drew watch it. I know she watched it with me when I was a kid, but she like refuses to believe it. So I put it in and the very beginning of the tape, it acts like it's like just going to rip the tape off the reel. And I was like, oh no. But then after like a minute, it chills out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, that's all I had for you. All right. Anything else anybody wants to add? Any questions on the comments? No, no. Let me see. None that I see yet. Get your tapes to Heritage this week. Contact Rare and Sealed. He's the man. He's the guy in charge. If you've got anything you want to sell in auction, get it to get it to him by the first, so he gets graded for you. Boom. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, let me find our outro video here. Okay. Bye. Bye.